Easier. Um, I just think I it's, it's kind of easier to find my spots on the floor. You know, in college, this small floor. You know, in the NBA, I've just been able to find spots easier. And what's the biggest thing you've had to adjust to from college to the pros? Saying, okay, I got to get better at that. Um, I've been making adjustment of being more vocal, um, being able to tell guys that have already been in the league before me what to do, where they need to be, and uh, just getting used to playing against that level of players. Anytime you're a rookie coming in, you're not used to playing against the best players in the world, so that's that's a big adjustment. Now, you haven't even played one official real game yet, and they're always talking rookie of the year. How does that make you feel when they say stuff like that? Um, it's definitely a lot to live up to. Um, but me and myself, I try to just stay focused on what I've been doing, and working hard, and trying to help the team win games. So. Um, as long as I keep doing that and we're successful, then I, I probably have a chance. Now, playing your college ball here in Utah, there's always going to be a comparison between you know Jimmer Burnett, the number one scorer in the country the year before, and then you, the number two scorer. Do you like those comparisons, or do you do you even pay attention to those? And he struggled his first year. No, I really don't pay attention to it. Jimmer is a friend of mine. I've been known him since I was at Weber State. And I think he'll be fine in Sacramento, but I don't, I don't really pay attention to people comparing us based on what we did in college. Can you learn something though from his rookie season? He came, came in with all the hype and the hoopla, and then he struggled a little bit. Can you learn something so you will have a more successful rookie year? Um, I, I didn't really get a chance to watch him. I was more concerned with my season here, but um, if it's anything, I just try to keep my confidence up because um, I know it's going to be bumps in the road. So. Um, I might have a rough patch this season and next season and probably year after that, but I just need to keep my confidence up so I can stay effective. It's tough. I've been there last year looked on the road. There were a lot of times I was able to talk to you. How much has your life changed since that day, those days? It changed a lot. I mean, it's like I would go on the road and I would talk to you and then that would be it. Or I would, now it's like my life is to the public. Everything I tweet, I'm getting a thousand responses to. Everywhere I go, everybody knows who I am. So it's it's a lot different. You gotta watch, you know, every little thing you do because people are always watching. So other than the money, which is obviously nice, what's been the best part about the <laughs> lifestyle? So uh, the best thing has been just that being my job. A lot of people go to college and then you're done with school. You got a job, but you got to figure out what you're gonna do next. But for me, it was, I did my four years here, and now I'm an NBA player, so I don't have to worry about doing homework, uh, having a job, interview, doing all, all types of work, because I'm doing what I love to do, so just having to worry about basketball every day and then just go home, that's the best part of it. Is there anything that has surprised you that's been kind of an eye opener, like you could not expect about the NBA? Um, nothing really. I mean, everything about the NBA, you pretty much know what you're doing in the NBA, but... Um, the main thing that surprised me was on our first road trip, we got our keys to our room, and everybody just went their separate way. It was no team dinner, no team meetings, nothing like that. Um, but that was that was the most surprising thing to me. Out on the court with the best players in the NBA, is it everything you thought it would be when you uh, were dreaming about this growing up? Oh yeah, it is. It's everything and more. Um, 
first game against Steve Nash, and he walked up, and they actually knew who I was. And they said, "What's up, Dame?" You know, it was it was crazy just to be on the floor with those guys, and they knew who I was. They knew tendencies, so uh, just to, to know that those people that you've been watching for so long know who you are is, is great. At what point did you like? It didn't finally sink in like as a reality that you're going to be in the league playing against Steve Nash and LeBron James. Um. I mean, every game is, it happens all over again. I get out there and I look at the other end and I see those guys and I'm like, I've watched them on TV for the last four or five years. So uh, it's just crazy. Every game, it happens all over again. You ever have to have like a reality check when you're out there on the floor with guys that you watch play as you were growing up? And a reality check Now you're suddenly us. playing against those guys, you know? Oh, no, it's, I look down there and then I, I realize, like, man, I'm, I'm blessed to be here, but then um, they throw the ball up and I realize that they're trying to beat me. And I'm trying to beat them, so I have no choice but to compete and forget about the fact that I've been watching them.